Okay, so this is how you'll adjust the changeover temperature on an Ecobee thermostat for a dual fuel heat pump system. So this would mean if you have a heat pump um, combined with a furnace um, and you wanna change the changeover temperature, which is the temperature outside at which point you'll change from heat pump to furnace. So you'll click on the three lines, you'll click on the gear, you'll scroll down to settings, you'll scroll down to installation settings, then you'll hit thresholds. There's two settings that you have to adjust. Uh, the auxiliary heat max outdoor temperature. This is as hot as you'll let it get outside and still allow the furnace to run. And then the compressor minimum outdoor temperature. This is as cold as you'll allow it to get outside and still allow the heat pump to run. So right now I have it set to 35 degrees for the max outdoor heat for the furnace and 30 degrees for the minimum outdoor temperature for the heat pump. What this means is that for my heat, when it's over 35 degrees outside and I'm running heat, it's going to automatically run heat pump and only heat pump. When it's below 30 degrees, it's going to run furnace and only furnace. And then in between, it's gonna run off of an algorithm and decide on its own which one it's going to be running. So let's say I want to run more heat pump and less furnace. What I will do is click on the compressor minimum outdoor temperature and I can have it go all the way down to zero degrees. You can have it go all the way down to negative 15, negative 20. Where we live in Colorado, even if you have a cold climate heat pump, um, you know, you can make that adjustment. I definitely recommend not going below zero degrees. Um, I have mine set to 30 currently. Um, that's just what I've decided is best for me, my system in this house. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Um, if you get a bill that's really high with electric and you, with energy costs, want to run a more furnace and less heat pump, you can click here and you would go higher on your auxiliary heat outdoor max. You can go all the way up to, you know, a temperature at which you wouldn't even be running the furnace. So you can even have it go to 60 degrees there. And so this will mean that you'll run the furnace all the way up to 60 degrees, and then you can even make your minimum outdoor temperature for the heat pump higher. So like, let's just say you don't really want to run the heat pump much, just like maybe when it's 45 degrees outside and warmer, you can run that the heat pump there. Um, so with these settings of 60 and 45 degrees, I'm going to be running a lot more furnace and a lot less heat pump. And again, if we wanted to run more heat pump and less furnace, you could go down to 15 degrees on your minimum outdoor temperature for heat pump, and you could change your maximum for the furnace and go down to say like 35 degrees. So let's say you have a cold climate, very high efficiency heat pump, a newer home or a home that's got um, a lot better insulation, you could go off of these settings here. Um, so that's how you change it on a, an Ecobee thermostat for a dual fuel um, heat pump and furnace system.